Hey YouTubers, Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. Um, thanks for uh, sticking with me. I have been gone for about two weeks because I seriously thought about just going back to my old life of like ignoring everything like we're supposed to do. Um, but to be honest, the reason I haven't is because for the same reason that I donned this mask on behalf of all of us who believe in the life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness in our Constitution, in our inalienable rights, right to privacy, right to free speech, right to trial. Uh, it is not appropriate. When we allowed our government to pass the Unpatriot Act, we lost a lot. And as we are seeing, we are losing more very rapidly because of that foundation. I personally think that we need to revoke the Unpatriot Act immediately. I've called my own senators about this regularly, uh, Ron Wyden and uh, Jeff Merkley. I enjoin you to do the same thing. I think fundamentally that's where our country's gone wrong. We've hyper-militarized our country, so we're turning into a bureaucratic authoritarian regime, or we have actually already. And we're seeing the co-opting of the media. This is why, like a true batterer, Trump went after the media. So now, oh, they're all beginning to behave if you haven't noticed how sweet of them to sell us the propaganda again thank you um i did not post a video for two weeks i thought about just leaving it but to be honest gavi Faki, a subscriber of mine i don't know you touched my heart and so there was a comment you made about speaking out. It made me understand that I, the reason I'm doing this is for all of us. Uh, the more we all speak out, the easier it gets for them to feel the pressure and the heat. We don't need to yell and scream. We do need to be coherent, which means we need to do our homework. We need to have resources we have to understand what we're talking about it can't just be visceral hate and lies and hyperbole and by the way i'm going to speak up immediately for dr busby because i have confirmed that indeed dr busby is a well-respected very well respected and very much appreciated expert on behalf of the uss reagan and that they appreciate and love him. That comes from the office of Bonner and Bonner. So I hope to have Dr. Busby back on. And anybody that says anything negative about Dr. Busby on my channel, honestly, I, I don't I'm not gonna delete you, but I will challenge you to go read his work and to buy into this. Uh, really, it is a very scary alt-right hysteria of calling names, hyperbole, not doing your homework, just listening to what people say. Dr. Busby is not a traitor. Dr. Caldecott is not a liar. They are not liars. Um, I heard today on my radio station from Shaziz who is a scientist, they call him the mad scientist, Shaziz, S-H-A-Z-I-Z-Z. -Z. He's gonna, I hope to be having him as a regular guest on my show, The Age of Vision Radio Show. Shaziz was saying that underneath those coriums, if it did melt through the second container, it's not pour, de pouring into the earth, it's probably turned into glass. There's a big lump of radioactive glass down there somewhere that they can't even get near because the numbers are so big. Um, I don't know. To be honest, I don't have the fundamentals in science, and I'm not going to argue the point, which is my point about Dr. Caldecott and Dr. Busby agreeing to believe that that whole green looks like fakery. To me, it looks like fakery. I agree with Dana Durmford on this. It does look like a big stupid lie and propaganda. I don't buy it for a second, but that does not mean that Dr. Caldecott and Dr. Busby are understating the hor horrendous effects of this. What they are expecting is for the younger people to pick up the mantle. That does not mean we have to turn on the elders. And this is where I really 
I challenge my fellow YouTubers to rethink their language. On my channel, I will not allow you to make remarks about liars unless you want to talk to me about facts. If all you do is call somebody a liar or a fucking rat, you're going to get immediately eliminated. If you say he's a liar because X, Y, and Z, and we can have arguments and conversation, that's tolerable. No name calling. We must get through this period of time where we come back to reasonability. And I think this is why we've really picked on why the nuclear industry has really prevailed. And actually, you want to know what it was? Oh my gosh, I was reading Dr. John Goffman tonight. It is astounding what Goffman said about this. Now, Goffman believed in scientific experimentation on humans and on human therapy. I mean, not, he was not innocent. He was just as callous as the rest of them. I do not agree with human experimentation unless a person knows what they're doing. But even in that, that's ridiculous. People don't know what they're doing with human radiation. So, no. <sighs> But anyways, the reason I've been off the air and I have not come back or made any videos or anything is because I wondered about the value of activism. And Gavi Faki said something like, it does matter what we say. And so right. But in this Trump nation, when we start looking at how the rights in this country are being whittled away. And yeah, I know I'm going to get some attacks. And if anybody calls transgendered people odd or weird, you're going to get blocked from my channel. Because that kind of, it's not just intolerance, it's ignorance. Our gender identity has nothing to do with our sexual identity. And frankly, it's none of anybody's fucking business. People can dress how they want, be who they want, have the gender identity they want, have the sexuality they want, harm no one, love is greater than fear, do no harm. That's the issue. Be adults, be responsible, loving, kind adults, period. Yes, I am a flaming liberal, and if you don't like it, get off my channel. Because honestly, I'm not taking any, like, no hate speech, none of that stuff, because all of that is destructive. This is what we need to live on, is this principle. Love is greater than fear. And the love that we have for each other, the love that our planet has, Gaia is bursting at the seams, and the energy that's coming up, is what's going to carry us through. There are, as Shaziz says, there are ways to reverse everything. They, he, he, I'm hope to get into him more on this, but there is technology that we can save our planet, and it does require that we choose to believe it, and we choose to believe that we're not going to just be their little victims. We're going to change their minds, change the minds of the people who are in power to have compassion because they've obviously disconnected from it. That's why I'm on YouTube. So I'm going to continue to read uh, these John Goffman thing. And, uh, you know, I... What does it say, like that meme that I posted, it doesn't matter how fast you go, forward is forward. And that's what we're going to do. We'll take a step forward every single the way. And I have practically zero tolerance for uh, hard-heartedness and for people's cruelty. Like, I can't, I don't think things where people get hurt is funny. I don't think we should call each other names. I don't think any of that helps. I think there's a lot of good fun to be had without calling people names or making fun of yourself or others. Um, but we have a lot of healing to do on this planet, not just our planet, not just the environment, but ourselves, our spirits, our centers of being, all of us. We have, and I believe that this is why people are coming out like they're so angry. They can't believe this is happening. Like a lot of these people who voted for Trump are like, yeah, he's doing exactly what he said, except they have no idea what that means. We don't need the Department of Education. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. What we need to do is make the Department of Education function better. Now, we may need to 
weed things out, cut out excessive. The reason that we have excessive legislation is because of lobbying, is because of special interests, it's because of people with money want to make money. They're like, I need strong leadership if we're going to have a government. And I know that's the issue with all the anarchists. Anarchists say, well, that's why we can't have a government. But you know why we have to have a government? Hello, I am Mr. Nuclear Man. <laughs> I have your children. <laughs> Mr. Nuclear Man, are you my new daddy? <laughs> no. That would require love. <laughs> but I have you anyways. <laughs> but Mr. Nuclear Man, I want my daddy. I want my mommy. Don't worry, child. They're coming soon. <laughs> Yeah, so we need to figure out a way out to not let that be our reality. Because uh, our children deserve better than that. And our grandchildren deserve better than that. And, it, you know, we may be on the edge of extermination, but that doesn't mean we have to give in to this. And we can demand that while we're still here, this motherfucker let go of our kids and start to clean up the mess that they've made. So put your courage feet on you guys. Believe in love. Love, love, love. Love is the answer. And you know what? Love is greater than fear. And I'm happiness is resistance. And what's our phrase? We're happy to resist. <laughs> I like that. I'm gonna keep saying that. Happiness is resistance, and I'm happy to resist. <laughs> Ciao. Put your courage feet on.